trap and take over. over. Name another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more, I got a chauffeur. Took off, man, they asking me to slow up. Getting wiser and my money getting older. I that bitch, I ain't even gon' hold it. I that bitch, and I thought that it told it. Hi guys, good morning. So, I decided to make this video while I have some time this morning before I go to the gym. It's super early, but I'm an early bird. I wake up at like 4.30 in the morning um, to do my five month update on my surgery. Now that I have gathered all of the questions, I can answer them as a whole because on my surgery page, People are always DMing me, asking me, and I just, I do answer them, but I still note it because I've seen a lot of the same questions or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it because I have to make it to the gym in a few hours and I have to take my son to school. So, um, let's start off with the flight. The flight there, if you see me looking down, it's because I had to note it so that I don't forget anything um so the flight there it's not really a big deal but the flight home you're gonna want to fly first class if you can first of all you're gonna be super swollen i barely could fit in the seat and i didn't fly fly like spirit or anything i i think i flew like maybe american i can't remember but um yeah i my hips were so wide and my body pillow could barely even fit in the freaking seat and it was it was a mess. I was so irritated. And there was a couple next to me and they were like looking at me like, where's this girl gonna sit? Like, yeah, hey neighbor. Um, so you're gonna want first class because it's very uncomfortable. Um, even though you do have the option to board early um, so that you don't have to do all that because you're, you're gonna want wheelchair assistance. But I was like, think I'm gonna need first class because the first time I went I didn't need first class but this time I wish I had the first class because I just didn't like it um yeah but for that space and that comfort yes um how long do you have to stay every procedure is different okay so um I don't know ask your doctor how long you have to stay I know a lot of doctors, they recommend you stay at least two weeks um, after the procedure, not as a whole after the procedure. I know a lot of doctors want you out there 14 days. Um, sometimes they'll be like at the minimum 10 days or something like that, but it's just, just communicate with your doctor. I'm sorry. Just communicate with your doctor and find out because maybe you don't have to stay 14 days, but I know that a lot of your doctors the patients out there 14 days um recovery house recovery house or um airbnb i never did the air i didn't end up doing the airbnb if you watched my other video but i do think that the recovery house is a better option because in a third world country like you don't know spanish maybe you do but um I just felt like it's safer. It's just convenient. The food's not the best, but you don't have to worry about cooking. You don't have to worry about hiring somebody to come out and cook for you. Make sure that you read the reviews. Make sure that they're doing the laundry and that they're disinfecting everything because of this COVID. I've been seeing some crazy stuff. Um, I I would recommend a recovery house. Like I said, it's not a it's not a five star treatment, but you're in a third world country, so it's like. Um, how much money did you need? Again, this is on depending on your surgeon and the procedures, but I took ten thousand dollars with me just to be on the safe side because you just don't know what might happen. Like, <clears throat> you have to always be prepared for anything. You might need to jump up and go home, your kids might need you. Like, Anything might happen, like, you just want to be prepared, so. Say, like, if your procedure, <clears throat> if your procedure is 6,000, I would take an extra three or 4,000, like, you just never know. <clears throat> mm. 
Well, <clears throat> how is your tummy tuck scar and your boob scar? So my tummy tuck scar, it does not bother me at all. I feel like, maybe I'm just used to it, but it's, it's there. Uh, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, <clears throat> I feel like that Duran did a really good job on my tippy tuck scar, so I just, I don't know. I, maybe I just deal with it. A lot of people don't even notice it. I still wear swimsuits. It is like hip to hip. Um, if you want to see it, you can uh, message me on my surgery page. And I don't even know my surgery page name, but I'll put that below. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, my boob scars. So my boob scars are really fresh. I have to get used to them. Like, I don't hate them, but I have to get used to them. Like, it's just something new. I do have the scar that's like, so it goes like from here to there because I just had a lift. And then around my nipple. The healing process for my boobs was kind of sucky for me because the scar kept opening really tiny. Kept opening. And I'm like, what's wrong? But I guess that was a part of the healing process. And it was I had no infections. It just kept opening. I'm like, then I have about the silicone patches. Put those on. Took it off. Maybe it was too moist. Voila. An open scar. So I don't I don't use any of that. I'm, now I'm scared. I'm scared to try to use anything on it. Maybe I'll try it again in a year or something. I don't know. Maybe it was too fresh. I'm not sure, but I'm not doing that again. So, um, like I said, no infections from either doctor. Um, thank God, because I read some crazy infection stories. Um, how long did it take for your boobs to heal? Okay, I already answered that. Oh, no, I didn't. How long did it take? So... How long did it take for them to completely close? Like a month and a half, almost two months to completely close. And then, like I said, um, it opened back up. It opened back up like underneath, but it was super tiny. Like if you're not careful, I'm sure I probably would have caught an infection or something because you know, dirt, debris, you sweat, dirty skin. You can get an infection so you have to really monitor your scars and see what they're doing like some of the stuff that happens to your scars is completely normal it's just you catching it because i was sending pictures to my doctor here and i'm like hey da, da, da. and they're like oh that's normal it's okay like because i'll freak out i'll call them like hey i think i got an infection they're like send a picture i'll send a picture they're like oh no you're fine and sure enough maybe like two days later because the skin the skin is amazing the skin is like the largest organ of the body is going to it heals itself like that and it goes up maybe like two days later and then again with the silicone things i don't know every to each his own but so yeah it took about a month and a half to completely heal so if you don't have any complications with them reopening or anything like that then like a month and a half but be prepared and make sure you're monitoring what's going on um Do you have implants? I don't have implants. I just have a lift. That's it, no implants. Um, so far as Cipla, everybody asks about Cipla. Cipla, you wanna pack your overnight bike, your overnight bike. You're gonna wanna buy a lock. You're gonna need your nurse. You're gonna wanna lock your bag. You're gonna wanna give it to your nurse. They do not provide a nurse at Cipla. I don't even think that they will work on you if you don't have a nurse. I know that they don't have a call bell. So if you fall in or if you need assistance, having an emergency room, there's nobody to call. They don't speak English. 
just have a nurse. Like, I wouldn't even play with it. Like, just have a nurse. Um, and make sure you are able to lock your, your bag up because I'm sure you're probably going to have money or whatever. Don't leave it at the recovery house. If you do, maybe lock it up. I don't know. Maybe you have safes. I don't know. I locked mine. So I took all my stuff with me that was of any value, put it in a bag, put my lock on it, gave it to my nurse. She watched it. Um, I did have a roommate at Cipla. She was going to the same surgeon as me. The first time I went, when I had to rent, I didn't have a roommate. I was in a room by myself. And I locked my money up. I didn't lock it up, but nobody stole it. But I like hit it. I did some real trickery and hit it. Um, so yeah, you'll stay one night at Cipla. You will buy a lock. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Okay. So now let's get into it. I'm gonna go with start with Duran first since she was the first surgeon that I had. Um, so with Duran, I like her tummy tuck work. That's why I, got I feel like you know at that time when I went in 2015, because I don't know now. I feel like she was the best. I feel like she was the best with her tummy tucks and her BBLs. I like she, she gave me like that heart. She's giving all her patients like that heart shape up. Um. I really, really liked it, so that's why I picked her. I didn't get any infections. For my tummy tuck to heal, maybe a month for the scar to heal. Maybe like three months to feel normal because you do get the muscle repair. Um, you don't want to strain so they want you to wait to work out maybe like three months I think mm. Mm. I feel like the placement of the scar is perfect like I can't afford them mm. I love bananas and peanut butter. Mm. I'm sorry, peanut butter is so thick. <laughs> her English, her English is okay. You can understand her. You can make out what she's saying. Her energy was great. When I went into her office to do the consultation, amazing energy. She is, she was sweet as pie. She was so nice. She was like, I'm going to do my best. She did my markings. Everything was just nice. Like, she was just super nice. Like, and I think it was because I was super nice too. Like, I didn't go in there being unrealistic, being bossy. I'm just like, I feel like when people have problems with these surgeons, because they go in there with this bossy, mean attitude. And they're like, the surgeons are like, listen here, bitch. You American. That's what they <laughs> Don't start with me. Don't tell me how to do my job. How would you feel if somebody came from Dominica and told you how to do your job? I feel like that's how they feel. But as a patient, you still do have the right to voice on how you spend your money. But it's how you do it, you know. Be nice. This peanut butter is super good. Mm. And so at the time, she had a different assistant. I don't know who her assistant is right now, but um, she was nice to me. But I seen her be very mean to people. And that's how I know what it is. Because those people, they were being rude and obnoxious in the office. And she was like making them wait. Skipping over them. Playing games. Oh, your lap and then come back yet. And they do that. So just... Let it get me nice. Mm -hmm. So in 2015, when I went to the ram, 
I flew in May 31st. And mm, why do I love me or love them? I flew in May 31st on a Sunday. My appointment was June 1st, that Monday. So I went there to do my, my labs and everything. And she was like, oh, you can have surgery today. I was like, today? Oh. I had surgery the same day. Well, next day after I flew in, but same day as labs and everything. She did everything. I was like, I got there at like 6 a.m. I was getting surgery by like 1 p.m. I think I was the first person to go. Um, everything had went so smooth. I was like, this, this is my first round. I'm like, this isn't happening. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Maybe I should call my mom. Maybe I should call my boyfriend. Like, maybe I shouldn't do it. Okay. Um, when she marked me up, I liked how it was real personal. It was super private. No one was in the room. We did it in her office. And I put my clothes back on. And then I went upstairs. Upstairs. For surgery. I'm going to be downstairs. I can't remember. Um, but yeah. It was, she was just, I, I liked it. I liked Duran. I like how everything was just personal, private, and smooth. It was, it was great. My follow-up appointment I met with Duran, her, and her nurse practitioner, not her assistant. I met with her, and she removed my drains, um, and the stitches that I had herself. She she looked at everything herself. I talked to her myself. We talked about because I had woke up from surgery. We talked. She laughed. We talked about how I woke up, how I panicked. Um, she was really nice. She was like a jokester. She likes to laugh. I like I like Duran. She's super sweet. I don't I don't know. I, I never hear bad stories about her, but from my experience, I like Duran. I will go back to Duran. She's super super sweet. Now this now let's talk about this one because everybody always say why didn't you go back to Duran for your round two and your boobs? I really like how this love does boobs. I'm not saying that I dislike how Durant does the boobs. I just love this the boobs. Like, I don't have implants and it look like it. I'm sorry. My tea cat. You know, I love my tea. So, I just love um, this little boobs. too much tea. I like this was boobs. Like I feel like they're nice and round, no implants. Like what more can you ask for? That's perfect. And I like how she creates the 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 hips. It's the hips. It's the hips for me. So I chose this one. You know, as time go on, preferences change. And that's what happened. It's not that I didn't like Duran's work. So, this one is not mean. She's nice. But her assistant isn't my favorite. But that's not my business. I don't work there. Um, and her nurse practitioner, she was okay. But this one was nice. I just didn't like that. I didn't meet with her until it was time to, for me to get marked up. I didn't, I didn't like that. And I love peppermint tea. And... So I didn't meet with her until it was time for me to get marked up. I did not like that. Like I want to see you when I'm in the office paying my money, but whatever. Um, the markup, it was not private. I had a roommate and she marked us both up at the same time. And we were looking at each other. Not 
like we don't have the same thing. There's a privacy. Um, Where's the privacy? For the post op, you don't see this love again. If she marks you up, you don't see her again, pretty much, unless you wake up during surgery. Because I woke up again, and she was there. She was working on me, um, talking to me and stuff like that. But you don't see her again. Her her nurse practitioner is the one who takes out um, your drain. She takes out your drain. Your sutures or whatever you got up in there. Her, her, I guess it's her nurse. Her nurse. She's the one who did it. Um, yeah, when I went there, she had a drain in my butt crack. She took that out and she just took off the bandages off my boobs to look at my boobs and she rechanged the bandages. She left the the suture tape on there. Um, I didn't get any infections again. I just thank God I didn't get no infections. Mm, my date was moved. She was hella booked. Hella booked. And it was a holiday. So my date was moved. Um, from Friday to Monday. Just like English. She was cussing people out. Her assistant. Her English is. Her English is really good. You can understand everything she's saying. Her English is good. Like you can tell she lives somewhere else in the world, not just the Dominican Republic, because she 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 has good English. I really liked her office. Back when I went to Duran, Duran office was a little ghetto. But when I just went to go for my second round, I peeked in her office. Her office is nice too now. This little office is nice. It's clean. Mm. She's never in the office though. <laughs> Someone said that this like does like, I don't know, a bunch of people are there. Duran don't. Um, I don't know, I like both of my surgeons though. I would go back to both of them. If I could change anything about the experience, it would just be, I don't know. I don't really have any changes, honestly. I feel like both times went smooth. But you better be prepared for things like blood transfusions and stuff like that. I, I heard that Duran still does this. I know when I went to Duran, you got, like, if you didn't need a blood transfusion, you get your money back. With this love, if you need the blood transfusion or not, you don't get your money back. Um, That's really it. I hope that this video helped. I'll try my best to break it down as best as I could. But I'm going to put my surgery page. Is it like a bio or whatever? I'm going to drop it. Because if you have any questions about surgery, you can message me there. Or you can message me on my private page. I don't really care about stuff like that. My private page is Jasmine Christina. Two A's. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna get ready for this jam after. Walking your trap and take over. over. Name another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a show. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Getting wiser and my money getting older. older. I'm that bitch. I ain't even gonna hold it. I'm that bitch. And I thought that they told you.